A lot of things can ruin a relationship. One of the biggest, definitely, is jealousy. This couple says it's hurting their relationship. Meg Brady and Jeff Ragsdale. They are here for some advice from Amy Brightfield. She is health director of Women's Day magazine, which has just come out with some stats on jealousy. And from sex and relationship expert Ian Kerner. Good morning to all of you. Morning. Let's start with you, Meg and Jeff. You guys have been dating for two years, engaged for six months. Okay. Why is jealousy a problem in your relationship, Meg? Um, well, uh, if I like to, if, if I want to go out with the girls for an evening, you know, just to have some wine, um, he usually texts me about ten times during the first hour. Um, when I come home, he'll say, well, why don't you have a bar smell too? You smell too good sometimes. I mean, this just started in the last year. Um, you know, that kind of thing, kind of, this, I don't want to say the sniff test, but mm -hmm. just, um, you know, he doesn't trust me. He's constantly, he thinks that I'm going to find someone better or uh, looking for the next best thing. Yeah, why, yeah. why is that, Jeff? It seems like you're very insecure. Has she done something to make you not trust her? I mean, I'm insecure by nature. I mean, I grew up in a household where my parents were kind of absentee, they were alcoholics. There was never the security. So in my last relationship, it ended where I thought the woman cheated and I feel that Meg has those tendencies too. So it's ripping me apart. I feel like Othello. Mm. Well, it's, this it's sounds like it, it can lead to no good. Yeah, I mean, and Jeff has just identified what is often the source for a lot of men. I mean, here's a guy who's really attractive and handsome and seems successful and confident, but inside there's a lot of weak, uh, a lot of uh, feelings of flaws and feelings of inferiority and a past uh, in which, you know, the institution of marriage may not be completely trustworthy. So I feel at least Jeff is being really honest about the issues that are leading to his jealousy. But my question is, is it fair for him to say, my pre in my previous relationship someone cheated and she has those tendencies. She hasn't done anything to betray him yet. Is it fair for him to put that on her before she even messes up. Amy? But I guess I'd I think oh, it's God. human nature. I mean, that's what in the survey that Women's Day did, we found that like 44% said that jealousy has become a interfering with the relationship. Yes, you're and definitely it's trust, not alone, right? And it's a trust issue, which is what it sounds like. And I think that I think that it's you know we whose issue is it? Is it Jeff's or is it Amy's? I mean, it's both because you're a couple, and okay. you sort of it's it's if it's one person's issue, it's the couple's issue. So I think that people do have. It is wise to to acknowledge what it is. At least like not Ian said, yeah. it's like you're acknowledging what the source of it is, and we how we react in relationships is based on all the role mm -hmm. models that are in our lives. Yeah. For those things. I mean, I think being a part of an adult couple is going to mean being strong individuals and being able to trust each other as individuals. And the more you can be individuals in your life, the more you'll be able to bring that back to your relationship. So if either of you feel kind of curbed in or the relationship starts to feel claustrophobic because you can't be an individual, then that's going to lead to a real relationship issue. Fair to say that they have to resolve this before they get married because it's not going to change magically when they get married, right? Uh, no, it'll probably get much worse. <laughs> but it's good that you're acknowledging it, I think, before you get married, yeah. because mm -hmm. marriage is work. I think that people, you know, people were surprised by the results of the survey. Like another, a big 77% said that they would be jealous if their husband had a platonic female friend. And I think that as long as you're acknowledging the, the issues before you get married, that that's really, that's a crucial thing. Okay, well, we hope you can work it out. Thank you so much. We'll be right